the time has come to continue this quest. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, I ended the turn and this dwarven army moved from over there to here. And I'll attack them since they can't retreat, they're boxed in, and they're easy to kill. Yeah, they're basically screwed. Huh. Yeah, I won't fight this on the map. Fuck. <laughs> Just tried to drink something and pulled it over myself, but whatever. It's only water, so it doesn't matter. Let's see, can I get some better weather? Speaking fail. Oh my gosh, that's even worse. Ah, uh, that seems good. And the map glitched. So I want to place all of them back here. Gosh, the map really... Oh, that's actually a pretty decent map. I just thought it had glitched, like, that the map stops here. But that actually looks pretty good. So... Get these units up front. Uh, these units behind his next rank. Something like that. And... Oops. These units... Oh, come on. I'm so stupid. That's final rank. And these guys... I'll just place them over here. Well, I'm gonna place two of them and these guys. I'm gonna take to the other side. Mm, it might be smarter though to place two of them here since... Yeah, I'm gonna take the second unit here as well. And I'll group all my infantry. And start the battle. Well, the map isn't glitched, just the map information is glitched. And not... Why did they run? Why is the lag so horrible? Stop running. Oh my gosh, this lag is horrible. What's wrong here? weird. I gotta fix this lag, that is horrible. Hmm. Well, I don't think you wanna see me lag like this, so I'll stop recording and see you back when I am on the campaign map. Because something glitched out here, that's not usual. I'm really f sorry for that. I finished it, I'm back. I'll continue sieging Gundabad. And. Yeah, well, they have five very experienced units, but my army is just so huge they won't be able to stop it. Um, move these guys up. But I really need some missiles in this army. It has pretty decent infantry and a lot of, a bunch of cav, but it doesn't have any missiles, which would be helpful to have. Well, we don't... I don't think we have any, like, proper missile units. We have some, but all of them are not 
I think we only... I'm not sure, maybe we only have the Snog Archers. Which wouldn't provide any good missile support. So we could skip missiles, but... I'd rather have some... Sieging without missiles is not a very good idea. Uh, the run wing ha one ring has been located. I can't speak today. Um, it's kept by a general in Hobbiton. Uh, cool story. We could go there. I think the one ring provides some good bonuses. And why is this lag so bad? Hmm. Okay, we get that shrine. Kill them all! Destroy them! Can't really understand why the lag is so horrible. It shouldn't be. Well, I've got to guess why it is lagging, but it's kind of unrealistically. I want to check that real quick in the building browser. Um, ranges. Ah, yeah, we have some better archers. So we want to have these guys on the field. And let's. I want to check that real quick. I think it's iTunes. Usually iTunes makes everything lag like crazy. So I'll be right back. Hmm, I think it's better now. And we we'll just need to end the turn once again. Another stupid dwarven spy. That's all the long loading for. Well, well. Great tidings, my lord. Our armies and supply lines are now. Operating at full capacity and a war effort has achieved maximum potency. Once the necessary supporting facilities are provided, our finest warriors and tools of war shall be yours to command. You need only march them to victory. Makes no difference here. <laughs> oh, I can now build a troll cage. So that's up next after the breeder. Uh, the bowyer. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not gonna assault these guys. It's only two turns, and if I can let them come towards me, I can beat them much easier. Where's my spy? Oh, cool. What's that? There's a couple special things on this map, and I never really played any faction in the north. Market, Bowyer, Bulk Breeder, Dungeon. Wait, how high is this, this thing? Well, we build the market. And can I build something here? Nothing useful. Nothing useful as well. I was pretty sure that one of these was about to grow. But whatever, it's gonna tell me in a message. So we'll end the turn once again. And get some reinforcements. I played a campaign once as... A uh, rune, I actually, well, I didn't complete it, because I played on, I think, medium and hard, and I conquered all 
west of the Misty Mountains. And <laughs> what's kind of funny, um, there is the Dark Lord system, which is like the Pope. And <laughs> Mordor got expelled from the bad factions. Is he human? Oh cool, so he sucks. <laughs> Um, I conquered all this, and Mordor got expelled, so I invaded Mordor. <laughs> Which was kind of ridiculous. How can get Mordor be expelled by the bad factions? Um, Kibil do end of turn report. Yeah, well, it's waiting pretty much. Can I construct anything? Oh, a storehouse would also be good here. The higher pop growth I can get, the better. What is this? Ogmarodus. Not sure if I have these. No, I don't. Oh, that's a better unit, probably. Mithlond. Not sure what this landmark is for. Oh, stupid dwarves. Well, since my army's gonna be free down there, I can kick their ass up there. Not sure, auto resolving or not. Obviously, don't want this army to be AI controlled. And we'll fight this battle on the map. For the maximum slaughter effect. Curse you, Snaga, you little maggot. If you think I'm so damaged that it's safe to flout me, you're mistaken. Or commander. Ooh. Yeah, mom. <laughs> Rush these guys out of there. They're gonna get slaughtered if they try fighting these dwarves. The frame rate seems to be okay. But there's no real hill or anything. Well, I could hill camp here which would be bitch since they attack me I don't need to kill any of them and they need to kill me <laughs> but it's really cool the I don't know I don't think Gundabad has a special like looking thing but it really looks like it will orcish settlement I really that's pretty neat hmm I don't really need to hook him though. That'd be just boring for you. And their army isn't really powerful, so whatever. <laughs> Get away from these guys. At least total reinforcement is somewhat here. Really? How can you wars be so fast? Your legs are tiny. That's not fair. Battle starts getting equaled out. And I'll order my troops to march. First of all, these guys to leave the ramps. From such tidings does victory emerge. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They're just chasing me forever. Well, my unit could maybe even take out them. Take them out.
these guys actually look pretty decently armored. Well, they're not dwarves though. Uh, today's the 12th, right? Um, well, probably when you're watching this video, it's not, but whatever. Um, then it's only 12 days to Victoria 2 expansion. I got the regular game already, it's lying next to me. I really love the game. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. It's the first Paradox game I got. And I found it really amazing, because it doesn't only focus on war, but it has a much deeper focus on the economy and politics. It makes it really fun. I know, I just like the game. <laughs> it's so different, it's a bit of army management, but... If you have... A good army still doesn't mean you'll be victorious, and I should probably turn them around. Screw this. You're not running away anymore. <laughs> Victory seems certain. Oh no, defeat seems certain. We get wronged. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen in there. But I could uh, try and get these guys down here. Because if I can get them down here before reinforcements arrive for these guys. They're screwed. Let me try and spread them out a bit. It's gonna take some casualties here, but after that they're gonna be surrounded better, because we have the numbers. So it's probably wise to do that. Some miners. I can't see these. Know what these guys are from because uh, of the fog. Not really fog, but it doesn't show you if they're too far away. It's somewhat fog of war, but it still isn't. It's somewhat different. Gonna crash these guys from the front. Actually, I'm not gonna going to be a waste. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Get out of there! Shoot! Man... Holy shit, man! But reinforcements are on the way. Let's try these guys another time. I don't want all these harbor deers to die, but... The comet rating should be horrible by now. Well, these are these warriors as well, but these miners are gonna fight better. Maybe, I'm not sure. These warriors are by themselves high quality, but they should be as well exhausted. Huh. <sighs> Well, 39. Just move through here. <laughs> oh, come on! Shoot! Dang it. pull all these guys out of there they're just gonna get slaughtered they aren't heavy stay in the fight cav so it's not a good idea to do that 
Oh, I just charged him. Clash of the Light Infantry! Ah, uh, yeah, some of these have axes, because on the picture, the dude has an axe. I just have so superior numbers. Um, no, that's... That would be a horrible idea, charging, uh, what shall I call it, halberd your men head on. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. That's good. These guys are all dead. So we charge on, spread them out a bit. Once we smack these guys, they're gonna rout. Smack! Broken and fighting to the death. Yeah, they're defending the city, so... They're gonna die real quick. Smack! I'm just gonna leave these guys out of the fight. They're not gonna be battle effective. Enemy general fallen and battle. So we got 300 men lost and 560 men remaining. And 200 of these were in this Halberd unit. So that's good. And they are all dead. Was not a scene from the intro, like on the screen right now. So the city is ours. We have our capital back. Yay! Why do I always say it, our capital? It's not. <laughs> I have to remember that. It's not our capital. Let me drink something real quick. What's this landmark? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's move here ish. What I really want to know is whether or not. No, they can. That is. They're a star bot, so that should be Isengard. So, Ariador is really not powerful, I think. So they are next to go after the dwarves. Ori. Ori? What is that for a name? Don't tell me I have resistance against occupation. <laughs> and I have to... Oh cool! So I'll recruit some archers. And I'll kill these guys. Is that worth showing? Not really. Just gonna auto resolve it. Ugh, the law statistics is horrible. Where are these guys? Well, whatever. 
I don't care if my units are heavily depleted, I'm just gonna continue towards this castle. I suppose. So one more turn till we have the bowyer. And hmm. Well ballistas are well they are okay, but not the best thing you can have. I wouldn't recruit them as orcs since we already have the numbers, so we don't need siege equipment. I'm not sure. Next could be the Orc Marauders, since that sounds pretty cool. Um, the second tier of Bowyer, or a Troll Cage. Well, an Armorer would be good as well. So we're going to recruit basically all the units in Karndoom. And if we get a good armor builder there, it's going to affect all our units. Can't build anything useful here, we're building here. And I have to rebuild in Gundabad. But Gundabad grew. So that's good. And not anything more to do. We have some money to spend though. So if I can get some I oh, know that's the wrong region. Up there next to Gundabad, I thought I could recruit some mercenaries, but the mercenaries are more south. So, no mercenaries for this army. Gundabad obviously is also a kind of money maker. What are the high elves doing there with their army? I'm scared. Because that basically be the worst thing that could happen. If I lost all my progress again. So get ready for fighting. And welcome a trial by arms to end this He screwed um, We have built that building and yeah, let's build something here first. And we can build whatever we want. To Dungeon guard house. Oh yeah, the guard guard house. I want a diplomat. What? And Karndoom. Uh an armorer practice range or a troll cage? Reaching these guys first. Um, or drills. No, the drill square is too far ahead. I'll go with the armorer first. It's gonna take some time, but since our units have pitiful stats, every one point is a good thing. And please don't make the Hyles declare war on me. Please not. I'd lose all my progress there, although I could capture Rivendale. I think this town should be... Well, Rivendale is somewhere, although Trollshaw isn't Rivendale. Holy shit, man! So the dwarves are gonna put up some resistance back there. Well, whatever. Ready. Hurry up. Boy. Miners. Well, axe throwers. It's decent units. I don't know if I could beat them, though. I might be able to. But I'd rather recruit some reinforcements. So actually I built that here. Uh Graham is also pretty close to growing, so we lower the tax rate. Low tax rate for you. And recruit 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Massive recruitment for the victory. So they are gonna fight. No, they're not. Uh, now they're gonna fight. Okay, then. Let's see here. Well, our disadvantage isn't that bad, but it's pretty bad. I'm gonna save real quick and check how much time we have left. And I'm gonna see you. So, I'll see you in a second. You can't imagine how lucky I got there. Right as I switched back, it came up with the fatal graphics error. Wait, how much stats did these guys have? 9, 14... 7, 11... 7, 11! <laughs> well, some of you probably know what I mean. 6, 11... Oh, that's missile, that's the extras. So we'll fight these guys. And that's gonna be the final battle of this episode. <sighs> We're gonna start deploying. So, is there any terrain advantage? No, I can't abuse anything, that's flatlands. So we want to, let's see, these guys, that's the sender, so, sender, center, um, place these guys around here, I'm gonna just select all these, place the infantry core, oh, I can actually place all these guys, so that's the first rank of infantry and group them up and make a big s place these guys as a second rank and place the spearmen on the flanks I don't really know why they do that they don't have any cavalry or something so the spears aren't useful for fighting calf but whatever gonna unselect all the rest of the infantry Group them up, move the general behind, and place the wargs up here. Well, I'm just gonna group them all. It would be good to charge right ahead, since they have missiles and I don't. So I'm gonna tell my units to run. Holy smokes! Dwarven Oxman. Oh, I'm still on double speed. That's why. The fate seems almost certain. Holy fuck. Well, these guys are gonna get crushed. Kill these iron crossbow men. Sorry if, I, if one can hear that I bumped my mic there. 
It happens, it happens. Victory seems certain. Why did my picture froze? Please not another graphics error. That would be painful. Come on. Not really. Hmm. I'm really sorry that the game froze there, but now I'm pretty annoyed and I don't want to play this battle <laughs> today, so I'm just gonna leave it, save here, and I'll see you in the next episode, where we'll then fight this battle, without a freeze, hopefully. Huh. You might hear I'm pretty annoyed by the lag and the freezing and stuff. So, I'll see you in the next episode, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I should stop getting distracted and clicking and running the map, but whatever. See you then.